Hello, I'm Dr. Ray Panettieri, Professor of Medicine at Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. Today I'll be discussing a case where I prescribe Upelry Revifenacin Inhalation Solution for Harry, a patient of mine with COPD. Upelry is indicated for the maintenance treatment of patients with COPD. Upelry is not a rescue therapy, so acute symptoms should be treated with an inhaled short-acting beta-2 agonist. Harry is a 66-year-old retired plumber who was admitted to the hospital for increased dyspnea and worsening of COPD. He had COPD for approximately 10 years before he was referred to a specialist for evaluation. He smoked 60 pack years while in the workforce, but his tobacco use decreased after retiring to about half a pack per day. In the 10 years since his diagnosis, he had three exacerbations, which indicated to me that his COPD was getting worse. Harry has several comorbid conditions that require active management with lifestyle changes as well as medication. Harry has mild hypertension, which he is actively treating, and non-insulin dependent diabetes, which he's managing with proper lifestyle choices and oral diabetes agents. After Harry was admitted to the hospital, I conducted a physical exam and found his symptoms consistent with uncontrolled COPD and acute bronchitis, and he had demonstrated poor handheld inhaler technique. His poor hand coordination skills became more apparent to me after I saw him struggling to pick up his cell phone. Prior to his hospitalization, Harry's usual course of treatment included a handheld short-acting bronchodilator administered four times daily, and a rescue inhaler as needed. I felt it was time to consider a nebulized treatment option for Harry. With a nebulizer, he wouldn't have to worry about his hand-breath coordination. He would only need normal tidal breathing to take his medication. I also wanted to try giving a once daily treatment to conveniently fit with Harry's desire to maintain an active lifestyle. He has bi-weekly meetings with a bowling league and serves as a handyman from time to time. When Harry was in the hospital, he received a course of intravenous antibiotics, oxygen, and oral corticosteroids. He then started using a long-acting nebulized maintenance therapy on day two. Since beginning nebulized therapy in the hospital, Harry had noticeable improvement in his breathing which helped his ability to hold conversations again. Because of his coordination issues, no history of glaucoma or visual impairment, and a positive response to nebulized therapy in the hospital, I decided that Harry should continue using a long-acting nebulized therapy after discharge, and that he was an appropriate candidate for treatment with Upelry. Upelry is contraindicated in patients with hypersensitivity to revifenacin or any component of this product. Upelry should not be initiated in patients during acutely deteriorating or potentially life-threatening episodes of COPD or for the relief of acute symptoms. Acute symptoms should be treated with an inhaled short-acting beta-2 agonist. Full Important safety information is presented later in this video. For patients like Harry, I prescribe Upelry 175 micrograms because it's the first and only once daily nebulized llama and offers patients a full 24 hours of lung function improvement. I think the 24-hour symptom control that Upelry may offer is an important benefit, and it's great because my patients might see a response in as early as 30 minutes, which makes it easier for them to maintain symptom control and continue on with their day. I like the convenience of a once-daily option like Upelry because it means Harry has to breathe in his maintenance medication 
only once a day, every day, to get his relief. I also like that he can take you Pelry with any standard jet nebulizer. I feel comfortable giving my patients you Pelry because it has a demonstrated safety profile and fewer patients discontinued treatment compared to placebo in clinical trials. The most common adverse reactions include cough, nasopharyngitis, upper respiratory infection, headache, and back pain. Stay tuned for important safety information, followed by coverage information about Upelry. Indication. Upelry inhalation solution is indicated for the maintenance treatment of patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. Important safety information. Upelry is contraindicated in patients with hypersensitivity to rebifenacin or any component of this product. Upelry should not be initiated in patients during acutely deteriorating or potentially life-threatening episodes of COPD or for the relief of acute symptoms, i.e. as rescue therapy for the treatment of acute episodes of bronchospasm. Acute symptoms should be treated with an inhaled short-acting beta-2 agonist. As with other inhaled medicines, Upelry can produce paradoxical bronchospasm that may be life-threatening. If paradoxical bronchospasm occurs following dosing with Upelry, it should be treated immediately with an inhaled short-acting bronchodilator. Upelry should be discontinued immediately and alternative therapy should be instituted. Upelry should be used with caution in patients with narrow angle glaucoma. Patients should be instructed to immediately consult their healthcare provider if they develop any signs and symptoms of acute narrow angle glaucoma, including eye pain or discomfort, blurred vision, visual halos, or colored images in association with red eyes from conjunctival congestion and corneal edema. Worsening of urinary retention may occur. Use with caution in patients with prostatic hyperplasia or bladder neck obstruction and instruct patients to contact a healthcare provider immediately if symptoms occur. Immediate hypersensitivity reactions may occur after administration of Upelry. If a reaction occurs, Upelry should be stopped at once and alternative treatments considered. The most common adverse reactions occurring in clinical trials at an incidence greater than or equal to 2% in the Upelry group and higher than placebo included cough, nasopharyngitis, upper respiratory infection, headache, and back pain. Co-administration of anticholinergic medicines, or OATP1B1 and OATP1B3 inhibitors with Upelry is not recommended. Upelry is not recommended in patients with any degree of hepatic impairment. For additional information, please contact us at 800-395-3376. I'd like to conclude by making a quick note about coverage for Upelry. When choosing a treatment, many of my patients are concerned about coverage. Upelry is covered for up to 100% of patients with Medicare Part B, which I think makes it a good option for many of my appropriate patients like Harry. Thanks for joining me, and please visit the Upelry website for more information.